Okay, we're taking a look at some slow scan television here, ham radio. Um, I'm using a program called QSS TV. I'm just receiving right now uh, on uh, 14.230 14 and uh, you can hear the uh, picture coming across here too. Looks like that's going to be the end of it. Well, let's see here. That's what we're looking like here. I have not done any transmissions yet, just uh, doing some receiving. It's pretty cool. Um, Linux, there's not a lot of choices. QSS TV uh, is the one I've located so far. And it sounds like there's a net here on 14.230. Conversation and then a few pictures will come across. And then back to some discussion. Pretty cool stuff. i got to check this out um, a lot more. Than trying to learn um, all these different digital data modes, digital modes that ham radio has to offer. Uh, so it's basically the same connection. You can use your microphone if you want. Your Skype microphone would be fine. But uh, I've got a direct connection to the radio, like with my PSK right here. I've actually disconnected my, my microphone, my radio keying circuit, which is this USB cable. Since I do not intend to transmit right now, I've unplugged it. And let's see if we get another one to come. I'm here in a second. We'll uh, show you how that works. Uh, QSS TV has uh, received a uh, transmit tab. And then uh, there's a gallery. So far, everything I've received is uh, dropping in into the gallery. So, you have an idea what that looks like. And this one was split. That one's split in half. I think I hit the uh, restart button and it started over. That's my mistake. Pretty amazing, though, to get a full color picture across the airwaves and a tiny little bit of bandwidth. So the frequency 14.230, it's upper sideband, and that's coming into my Yaesu 847 using a Donner interface cable, about 30 bucks, you can buy it online, that's this thing here. Or you can use a microphone, Skype microphone, and just position it near your speaker or your transceiver. And for receiving, it works great. Of course, uh, you can transmit as well using the radio's microphone and keying the microphone button yourself manually. When you hit to select a uh, picture and transmit, it actually plays the tones through the speakers of the laptop or computer and just you have to hold the microphone up near the uh, near the speaker so I hear a uh, transmission not sure it hasn't quite uh, kicked it off yet 
But you, as I was saying, you can uh, listen through the speaker with a microphone into the program and transmit. You don't need a hard connection between the computer and the uh, and the radio. There we go. Looks like it's uh, probably just not quite receiving it well enough, but it is get it is coming in here. It's a very weak signal, as you can tell by the noise in the photo. Uh, I'm getting uh, only receiving this at about an S, uh, maybe a S2, quite a bit of noise along with it. So basically, the S2 is the noise level, and the uh, the digital portion is probably well below the S2. It's in there, but still picks it up. So this is Slow Scan TV Ham Radio. I'm using a program in, for Linux called QSS TV. If you're uh, using Microsoft Windows, there are other choices. And um, I'm not exactly sure which which of those uh, I could recommend because I no longer use Microsoft Windows but uh, I'm sure you can using your Google, Google or your uh, browser of choice you can figure that out at this point there comes another photo across uh, 14.230 Alright, there's another one. So it's cool stuff, digital modes and ham radio, a lot of fun. I'm enjoying the exploration here. So, uh, 7 3, and uh, that's all for now from Jim. AG6 IF. I'm a brand new ham, well, a couple months now. And uh, take care.